Hi guys and happy new year. This is the first video I've recorded since the new year. I don't think it's the first one I've uploaded, but it's definitely the first one I've recorded. It feels like forever since I've recorded a video. I had a few pre-recorded before Christmas so that I could take a bit of time off. So God, it feels, it feels like a long time. So just so you know guys, this intro is gonna be a little bit longer than usual. So if you don't care and you just wanna watch the tutorial, there'll be an annotation on the screen that you can click that will take you straight to the tutorial. If you wanna stick around and have a bit of a chat, then all right, let's go. So first of all, you might notice things look a little bit different. I got a new lens for Christmas. Paul very kindly bought me a fancy schmancy new lens. If you care about this kind of thing, I'll leave all the details up down below if you're into photography and stuff like that. I've also changed my background a little bit. I don't know, do you like it? Do you not like it? I know sometimes change can be a little bit hard to accept in the beauty community and I know I sometimes am one of the worst people for that. I hate when people change things like when Tiffany D came out of her closet that first time. That, that took a long time to get over. But I think with this particular lens, this will be a good kind of look for when I'm doing more talky, vloggy or favorites videos. Um, but it's not really great for getting close up detail because there's no zoom on it, it's a prime lens. So I did use it for this makeup tutorial just because I really wanted to play with it and I wanted to see what it looked like. So please just indulge me this once. But I think for tutorials, I'll go back to my old setup and then just use this setup for talky kind of videos. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. I also just wanted to take a moment to say Happy New Year and I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas and a wonderful new year and I just wanted to say thank you so much for 2013. It was a very exciting year for me. My channel grew an awful lot. It grew more than I expected it to um, which was amazing and you know, I love making videos, I love writing blog posts, I love talking to you guys, and I'm sure most of you know, last year was a difficult year for myself and my family, and you guys have just been like this pillar of support for me, and just, I don't know, just give me the motivation to really go for it and, you know, chase my dreams and other corny things, and I just wanted to say thank you so much, really and truly, I just, I love you all so much. All right, enough of the mush, onto this tutorial. So I thought I would do a tutorial that's a little bit fresh. It's a new year, it's after Christmas, it's after New Year's. Let's put down the glitter, you know, momentarily. We will come back to the glitter, don't worry about that. But just for today, we'll do something a little bit cleaner. So I decided to use just a clean white eyeshadow so it's kind of it's wintry obviously it's snowy but it's also very much in season it's been seen at the catwalks of Kenzo and Ralph Lauren so it's definitely kind of a trending color and it's really really flattering it makes your skin look really luminous and bright makes your lashes look really really thick because they really stand out against a white background it's a very very quick and very easy to do so if you want to see how to get this look then keep watching. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do is pop on a little bit of my MAC Prep and Prime Skin Base. And I'm using this primer because I find this goes really well underneath the foundation I'm going to use. And I'll talk about that in a second. So the foundation I'm using today is the Bare Minerals one. And this is the original formula, it's not the matte one. And it's in the color Fair, and it's actually a little bit too pale for me. I know, shock horror. But yeah, I find this goes really well on top of that MAC primer. I don't know, the silicon kind of feeling makes it glide on really smooth. I'm gonna buff that on with my Real Techniques uh, buffing brush. Like mineral foundations are great if you're short on time. For my concealer today, I'm using Benefits Erase Paste and this is in number one fair. I'm just gonna pop my finger in there and on my ring finger, just dab that under my eyes. This is a really nice kind of pink undertone, so it's great for people that have like a bluey, greeny kind of color in their dark circles like I do, like a bluey, purpley color. I'll just pop a little bit around this red area on my nose. You can see that concealer leaves quite a bit of a shine because it's so creamy, so you can see that shine is almost exaggerating like these hollows under my eyes, so you definitely wanna powder that down to get rid of that. And I'm just gonna go back into the Bare Minerals powder again, but using a slightly smaller brush. It's a Royal and Langnickel uh, Contour Shadow Brush. You can see the difference that makes instantly. And just to add a bit more color back into my skin, because that foundation is just that little bit too pale for me, I'm going to take my NARS Laguna Bronzer, and on a MAC 138 brush, just kind of lightly dust that on the high points of my face to give a little bit of a 
bronzy warmth. For my cheek color, I'm gonna use one of the bourgeois blushes. This is Rose, I think it's number, number 16, Rose. On the same brush I used for my bronzer. I've actually decided I want my cheeks to be a little bit more on the cooler pink side, so I'm gonna take a different blush. This is, this is an old discontinued MAC one called, I think it was called The Sweetest Thing. I don't have the label on the back of it. Um, but any kind of really dolly pink, blue toned pink blush will work. And I'm just kind of focusing that right on the apple. For my brows today, I'm gonna to start by filling them in with some eyeshadow. I want my brows to be soft, like more defined than they are, but still quite soft. So I'm gonna start with Max Omega eyeshadow and a 266 angle brush. And to add a little bit more texture, I'm just gonna pick out the hairs a little bit more on my brows. I'm gonna go over with some of Benefit's Gimme Brow, which is a brow, it's like a tinted brow gel that's got little fibers in it. So it's like um, those fiber mascaras, basically. It makes, your, makes it look like you've got a few more hairs there. All right, moving on to the eyes. First, I'm gonna prime them. I'm using my NARS Pro Prime. Next, I'm gonna take some of NYX's Milk Jumbo Pencil. I'm gonna use this as the eyeshadow, really, so I'll draw a nice, thick, messy line. And then taking a clean blending brush, this is a MAC 217. I'm gonna blend that. I'm just starting by blending the very edge of it to soften that line of where it ends. But I'm just gonna run my brush over the whole lot as well so it's not patchy looking. Now just to set that pencil and stop it from being too sticky and it kind of almost feels a bit sticky on the lid between the primer and the pencil, just to set that and take that away, I'm gonna use MAC Gesso eyeshadow, which I've talked about before, I think is one of the worst eyeshadows that MAC do, but it's the only white eyeshadow I have. Any white shadow would do the job. I'm just on that same 217 brush. Just pack it on top. So I'm not actually going to use any eyeliner in this look. I'm just gonna go straight into the mascara and I'm gonna put quite a lot of mascara on so you'll still get that definition, but just without that black line. I think it might just look a little bit too retro with a black line, so just to keep it clean and modern. So I'm gonna curl my lashes to make sure they go straight up so you really see them against that white background. These are Tweezerman lash curlers. I'm gonna use a combination of a couple of different mascaras. I just find that always gives me kind of the thickest and most luscious look when I mix my mascaras. So the first I'm gonna use is the CoverGirl Clump Crusher and this is oh so nearly gone. You can actually see like the green of the wand because it's so dry. And all this is gonna do is give me that base, like barely there layer that's gonna keep my lashes separated. I'm gonna put it on the bottom lashes as well. I'll probably only use the clump crusher on the bottom lashes though, just to stop them from going too clumpy. And then I'm gonna go over and layer on top of that on the top lashes only with Benefits They're Real. So that's the eyes done, so easy. So all I'm gonna do now is add a little bit of a kind of highlight to my cheeks and the lips. And for the highlighter on my cheeks, I'm using Benefit's High Beam. I've just put a little bit on the back of my hand there. And I'm gonna use my Real Techniques buffing brush. And I'll just dab that. Oh, it's so pretty. It's such a pretty product. It's just it's a little bit difficult to work with. And then on my lips, again, keeping it simple and also keeping with that kind of pale pink, that cool pink tone I've already got going on on my cheeks, I'm gonna use one of the NYX Butter Glosses in the color Eclair. Now 
and there you have the finished look. So it's very simple, it's very pretty, very quick and bang on trend for this season. Also this month, January, I have decided, it's kind of like a bit of a New Year's resolution, I've decided I really want to blog an awful lot more, not just this month, but this year I want to blog an awful lot more. So definitely go and check out my blog, I've put a, a couple of posts already this month um, that I think you'll probably find interesting. And if you do want to follow my blog, you can always follow it on blog, what's it called? Blog Loving? Ooh, I should really know that. Blog 11. I'll leave the link down below if you want to go and check that out. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I put out new videos every Wednesday and Friday and blog posts in between. So thank you so much for watching, guys, and we'll see you very soon. Bye!